everyone. Today we are here from Hasbro Gaming to show you how to play the Monopoly Deal game. A card game version of that game that we all know and love. We've been reading online reviews of Monopoly Deal and we know that people love this game. They say it's fun and easy to play. They like that it is fast. A game takes about 15 minutes, but it's a card game, so maybe you think that this game will be complicated and hard to learn. But trust me, it's not. <laughs> now we're going to quickly review some of the cards in the Monopoly Deal game, and then we'll play. But if you need more help, check out the rules that come with the game. Just one more note. If you're okay with the cards and want to see gameplay right away, skip ahead to this time in the video. Monopoly Deal. No game board, no traditional Monopoly money, no plastic houses or hotels. It's a card game, so there are cards, 110 of them. You win by collecting three complete property sets of different colors. There are money cards, property cards, and action cards. On your turn, you choose up to three cards from your hand to play, and either place them on the table or use them against other players and then discard them. Let's start with the money cards. Money is important in Monopoly Deal because you'll need it to pay other players. But in this game, you do not win by bankrupting friends and family. You win by collecting three complete property sets of different colors. Here are some money cards. Abby will place them on the table in front of her, in her bank. I am going to put down um, one Monopoly money. Property cards are placed face up in front of you next to your bank. Place as many property cards as you want, but remember that you win by collecting three complete color sets in different colors. There are also two kinds of wild property cards. One kind shows two colors and can be combined with other cards of either of those colors. The other is a multicolored wild property card and can be used with any other property card. Property cards can be used to pay what you owe, but they never go in your bank. Violet will place some property cards next to her bank. Action cards let you do things like charge rent, make tricky deals, and place houses in hotels. To play one, read it aloud and follow the rules on the card. There are a variety of action cards, including the ones that let you add a house or a hotel. The action cards are pretty self-explanatory, so we'll only mention three of the most powerful ones now. Deal Breaker steals a complete set of properties, including any buildings, from any player. Just say no! cancels an action card played against you. But watch out, because the other player's Just Say No card can be used to cancel your Just Say No. It's my birthday! Forces all players to give you two Monopoly dollars as a gift. Nice birthday present, right? Action cards can also be used as money. See? Each one has a money value on it. But once you've put an action card in your bank as money, you cannot use it as an action card. Now that we've explained some of the cards, let's play a round or two. First, we shuffle the cards and then deal five cards to each player. Put the remaining cards in the center of play as the draw pile. Now look at your cards, but keep them a secret. Youngest player goes first. That would be me. First, I will pick up two cards. Then I'm going to play up to three cards of any type in any combination on my turn. I can play money cards, action cards, or property cards. I can play one card, two cards, or three cards. Or I can choose to play no cards at all. First, I'll add two money cards to my bank, and then I'll put down one property card. Since I'm going first, I won't play an action card. My turn is over. As you play, you may end up with no cards. If this happens, draw five cards on your turn instead of two. If you have more than seven cards at the end of your turn, Choose the excess cards to place in a discard pile next to the draw pile. Let's continue the game. Do a forced deal. And I need your Baltic Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> and exchange oh, really like oh, I am going to play another rent card for my yellows. And uh, guess you have to give me your five million, don't you? <laughs> oh, that's so tough. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna debt collect. Please. Stealing from my child. Okay. I, I wanna get some stuff, so I'm. Uh, you guys all owe me five bucks. All right. Well, this I just is so happen to have five million for you. Horribly. I'll put down my four steel. Nope. Card. 
I'm gonna do deal breaker. No! <laughs> Money down and then you put the deal. Break it down. Uh, uh, uh. Break it down. Uh, uh, uh. The game continues until one player has acquired three complete property sets and wins. That's it for Monopoly Deal. It's easy, especially if you remember these numbers. Deal five cards to each player. Pick up two cards and play up to three cards on your turn. No more than seven cards in your hand at any one time. And win with three complete property sets. Have fun and thanks for watching.